Here's a wall of pins that I made. Do you want to find out how to do it? Eh? Eh? Little, uh, little DIY coming at you right now? So as you can probably decipher from the, well, actually I already released a, not I moved video, but I moved. Which meant that I have decor to decorate my apartment with, as you do with decor. Um, so I kind of want to do something with my enamel pins. I have a bunch of them. I've been making them since like 2015 or something like that. Not like big. I've made like like 10, a dozen. I don't know if you count the bun liners as one, I think I've made 10. So, you know, I enjoy collecting them. I enjoy making them, all of that. And I really enjoy displaying them uh, as kind of like cohesive, organized pieces. So I'm gonna take you through the process of putting all the shit together. Let's go. So I have just like a ton of fleece. I forgot how many yards I got. I originally was gonna make something for the rabbits, but then I decided to not do that because I'm lazy. And we have an embroidery hoop. I just cut out a square of fleece that's bigger than the embroidery hoop by like an inch or two on each side. So once you have that, you literally just separate the hoop, peel the sticker off, which is like annoying as hell. I don't know why, why they insist on doing this but they do place the fabric on over the uh, the hoop and then just kind of like pop the other hoop on. This is like embroidery hoop 101. I'm sure that this part isn't like blowing anyone's minds. So once everything is sufficiently tightened, you wanna maybe take a better pair of scissors than I have and you just wanna trim around so that there's a circle of fabric left. You wanna leave like this much allowance. Basically what you're gonna be doing is just folding it over and then gluing the fleece to the edge so that it's got something secure. Okay, the extra fleece gets trashed and then what I'm just doing is I'm taking some tacky glue or you know, like whatever fabric wood safe glue you have, then align the edges and I'm just gonna push the fleece in. And then you pretty much just have like a finished hoop. It might not be perfect on the back, but like it'll do. Um, you can see right where I started cutting, it's a little short, which is why it's better to have a little extra than uh, too little, because then you get glue on your fingers. And due to the nature of folding circles in on themselves, like not every little bit is gonna be covered in glue, but it's fine. So we have this hoop and we have this hoop, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest. Okay, so I have this bin of pins and I'm gonna start taking um, the pins off of these hoops as well and then I'm gonna kind of group them into like themes, I suppose. I am probably gonna end up taking these size hoops as well and putting felt on them eventually just because I like the size. I feel like it's easier to kind of get like pins together if you have a smaller canvas to work with, but I'm gonna wait to do that to see what the situation is. So here we go. So now that I've pretty much gathered all of my pins in this big old container, uh, the next step is to kind of chunk them out into like groups, I suppose. I'm gonna start with, I don't know, <laughs> let's just start pulling shit and see what happens. Um, I do think that I'm gonna end up having to do at least these two hoops as well, if not also this one. I wanna shy away from the really, really big hoops because I don't want them. So <laughs> that settles that. I'm gonna start with maybe with these two. Just to see, I'm gonna pull this to the side. I think I'm gonna use this for my own personal pins to do like listing photos and stuff. I just think it's really cute. It's good for showcasing like one pin at a time. I 
think I have a good starting point over here. I have a mass of pins on the table, but I do have like some pretty solid themes. I've got some video game pins over here. I thought I have more Kingdom Hearts pins, but apparently not. So that's enough to fill like a small, probably one of these sizes in itself. I also have a pretty good number of Studio Ghibli pins. Let's throw some Ghibli on here. That's one. Let's do the rest. In my organizing of pins, I decided that I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I did end up putting my bun liner pins. Sorry, it's like super dark. It's raining today. It's a different day, by the way. I did end up putting my bun liner pins all on this little three inch embroidery hoop, and I thought it would be a cool idea to have a separate tiny embroidery hoop for every pin that I've personally made. And uh, so I need more of them, <laughs> was the gist. So I am going to go ahead and order some of these hoops for pickup, and I might grab another six inch or two. Michael's pickup acquired. I also bought command hooks because I don't have those and I think in order to put literally anything on the brick I need those. But anyway, moment of truth. Did I buy the right size? Yes. The same. So yeah, that was a fun little DIY. I don't it's like barely even a DIY. Like, was it that difficult? No, you can do it. Go to the store, get an embroidery hoop. Probably just go find some fabric laying around your house because let's be honest, that's what I did. And uh, it's done. If you do this, show it to me because I love looking at pins. So fun story, I did not think that it would take this long to edit this video or just to, to start editing this video really. And uh, my pins came in, so. I do have these three pins available in the shop. Right now, I love this one. It's got like this metal effect so that you can see the metal underneath it. The purple enamel is translucent. So I think that's really cool. We got a puppuccino. This lighting is atrocious, but welcome to winter. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're interested in any of these three pins, they're in the shop right now for what I believe to be reasonable prices. Plus, look at these super cool backer cards. Do they resemble anything? Who can say?